Lift the heat bed, just make sure your resistor and LEDs are all okay and not distorted. On the other side, check the surface, I'll turn that over in a minute. But remove the rough burr on the outside on the other face and countersink the other face so as it will then sit flat. Now you, your bed needs to be flat to print flat. So after you've taken the burrs off, just put it on a flat sur surface and just, just tap it. If there's a hollow sound, that means the centre is curved up, it's domed. If you tap the corners and you hear that it's actually then tapping onto the table, you then know that it's bent that way. So if you get any hollow sounds or rocking sounds, your table's not flat, send it back. Now, I'll just turn this over now. They say it can have a few scratches and that, and that has to be acceptable. You don't have to accept deep scratches. There's a particular scratch there, fairly light. I can rub my finger over it. It's not so bad. I can run my finger over the whole lot and it's fairly smooth. So there might be say some surface blemishes but any big grooves that type of thing send it back. This is the outside edge that you need to deburr for a little file and then just get a 120 degree countersink and just flatten those burrs off there on those holes and that will give you a smooth flat surface. You need to remove burrs whenever you can because if you don't, later on they'll be sitting there waiting to get you. You'll be removing something and you'll slit your finger and there'll be blood everywhere and all that. So just get yourself a little warding file, run around and it's done. So then once you've cleaned it up, wrap it up, put it aside and protect it.